you need to know how to use chopsticks. Practice as soon as you get your call. Um, otherwise, you're gonna be pretty hungry pretty quick. <laughs> Another important thing is in Chinese culture, most of the time when you're eating, it's sort of a family style. It's you're not given a plate with everything you know on it. It's that everything is put in the middle of the table, and then you sort of just serve yourself as you go. Um, and it can be very easy to like just use your chopsticks that you're eating with and like pick stuff up off the table, um, you know, out of the dishes. Double check to make sure there isn't a pair there that you're supposed to use to serve yourself with. If there is, be sure to use the ones that are spe specially assigned for that dish. So it's not like the ones that are going in your mouth are. If the people you're eating with are, you know, just using the chopsticks that they're eating with to pick up the stuff, then you're okay to do it. But you want to be careful <laughs> um, just to make sure that you're being polite. Um, it's okay in Chinese culture to bring your plate up. Like, you're, usually it's your bowl. You don't use plates very often, but to bring your bowl up close to you um, because it can be hard to, you know, pick up, you know, a big chunk of rice and from down here and get it up to your mouth. And so, you know, you can bring the bowl up and you can eat into that way because that's, you're going to be a lot less messy that way and it is considered, you know, perfectly polite. So you can do that. When you're served something to drink, if you're at somebody's house who isn't a member, chances are they're going to automatically try and serve you tea. So you have to be very careful with that because often it's going to be green tea. And so you need to just be aware from the very beginning. Ask for water. If you ask for water, chances are they're going to give you boiled water. It's going to be hot and steaming. That's what they usually will drink with their meals. They don't drink a lot of cold water. Even room temperature water you don't drink as much. And so that's something you just have to be aware of. I always avoided slurping, but I think that's more just because that's something I was raised to do. Some Chinese people, depending on how, just depending on their background, there's going to be a much higher tolerance for slurping. Um, you can get away with a lot more slurping in Chinese culture. Some families, though, still won't like it a whole ton but it's definitely less of a faux pas in Chinese culture than it is in, say, American culture. Um, another important thing, like if you see like, oh, there's only one uh, you know, piece of this thing left on the dish, don't pick it up and eat it. You can eat, eat up everything that's on your plate that you've picked up, but never be the person who grabs the last piece on like the communal dish that everything's being served from. Uh, that's considered rude. It's the idea that, oh, I didn't make enough food. Like, I don't have enough money to buy enough food to keep you full. And so always leave some food on the plates on the table um, that things are being served out of, um, especially if that's fish and it's around the Chinese New Year. Do not eat all of the fish. Leave some. Fish represents prosperity. And so if you eat all of the fish, you're sort of dooming them to a year of really bad fortune. Um, the, the Chinese culture, there's a lot of superstitions like that. And so the more that you can become aware of them, the better. Um, even if people aren't like super, like they really believe them, it'll still like leave them with like a weird, like mm. feeling, um, you know, if you're not careful. So you want to be careful of those.